Hey guys, I'm here with a project share and an update on that punch that had me so upset yesterday. So I got it working and what I did was I put it in the freezer, you guys. Yep, I did. I used I went ahead and used that method and a couple of I got a couple of comments saying to use, well, a few, the foil, the dryer sheets, and the wax paper. So I did all three. So I went ahead and stuck it in the freezer and I put the foil in there, a few sheets of foil in there like that. So in the morning, I got up and um, I laid it out in my kitchen counter while I came into my craft room and... Um, so I waited a little bit and then I went over there to go see if it would punch out. Well, it did not. I mean, it punched, but it still wasn't punching all the way through. So I was over there like, I was doing CPR on this punch, man. I was just going really like trying to get it to go down. And finally, it finally snapped sh like closed or punched like that and it stayed like that. So what I did was I grabbed it because I've done this before when they stick and I kind of just pounced it a couple of times and it snapped out. So now I have it going through. But um, it still is giving me trouble. It's like a lot more smoother, but I'm still going to work on it. So I finally, after a lot of, you know, just trying to punch it, you know, punch it through, punch it through using the foil, the wax, the um, dryer sheet, it finally went through. So now I'm just going to try to um, use some more foil because it's still cutting out where the edges are rough. But these are the bows and so I went bow crazy today. And when I um, glue them, I use this to help me to push down and keep them glued so the glue doesn't get all over the bow so it looks semi-neat or as neat as I could possibly get them. They are very small. They're only like a half an inch horizontal. And then a half an inch, what is that word? Horizontal, there's horizontal, and then there's, gosh, I can't think of it. I can't think of the word. Vertical, vertical is the word. Okay, so yeah, so they're really small. And I do have this one here, and that one's this one right here and so look at the difference in size so it's pretty tiny and it's really 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 cute so I used it on a lot of the projects that I did today now I had a box of all these envelopes that I made so what I was doing is I was gluing these and cutting the top and making um, like tag tags with um, pockets pocket tags so let me move this out of the way so I can show you so I got a few of them here so um paper play with julie k is having a challenge which unfortunately is over with on tuesday but if you guys um got some atcs laying around or you made in your stockpile um why don't you join the challenge so um she's asking for atcs in a memory decks or both and I think embellishments but I can't say for sure but I will leave the link to her channel below so you can check it out as long as your entry is postmarked before the 20th which is Tuesday which I think I'll get my entries in before then so so she's having a challenge and I made a couple ATCs and here is my first one and um I used this die here and put that on there and this came from a paper album that I an album with a bunch of paper in uh, ephemera from Tuesday morning and I think treasure um, cherished treasure showed it and this is part of the sticker pack here's a little bow I used some washi and I do have to add another piece of paper because it got messed up as I was creating I always forget to wipe down when I'm creating so there's that there's the a pocket and this has a card in it this tag pocket card and I put a little clip on that and 
and then I got a few um, paper pieces embossed. I used a stamp from Hobby Lobby that I picked up and embossed it. And this is a block stamp that I have. And I got some little paper, stapled it, put it on here, and it says Note to Self, which is a stamp set I picked up today from Target Dollar Spot. And there's some lashes again that I put on here and um, I got these and I got to re-glue them or something. I got that from a die I picked up from AliExpress, which is this here. So you get the little section that have the little section that has the eyelashes and the bow and then you get one with hat and the glasses and then there's the egg shape. And um, I have a piece of paper sitting around here somewhere that actually shows the cut, what it looks like. But anyway, so I grabbed that. And along, well, actually, they came in the mail today. And I also picked up this chicken one and some baby onesies and the little windmill thing right here. So this is what it looks like when I cut out the um, lashes and the bow and the little mouth and the cheeks. Oh, in my frame. So, yeah. So, here's another tag pocket the, with the windmill and the bow. And this one's got bunnies on it. So, there's that. There's this one here, which I had this ATC card in there. And that's a stamp and die set I picked up recently. I'm not even going to stick that in there. I might rip something. So there's another bow on this one. Oh, and here's the um, stamp and die set. And I don't know if I got it from scrapbook.com or I actually got it from LDRS. But there's that. So there's this tag here. Again, it is a pocket, and I did add the donut just because it matched the pink. But I thought that was really cute. I'm going to have to glue that there. So I'll have to work on that one. And this is a piece of paper I folded and glued. And again, I cut the top. I punched a hole, put that paper clip. This is from an envelope I had, and it is dimensional right here. Added some sequins to the back. And a tassel. I thought that came out really cute. And this is just a little pocket. And it's got a rosette. This image I've used before in another tag, pocket tag, which I'll probably um, put this one in there. And then there's this tag I made. And it's just a tag. And it's from a um, piece of paper that was. I'll print it out like a postcard and I cut it in half and I stamped saying hello on there from the stamp I picked up at the tar Target dollar spot and the bag said it's a hug on the back. This one was in a box of stamped images I had so I sewed back into it, put ribbon on there and again this one opens up also. So there is that. Those are the tags I made. And then I made an index card using that magnet, that magnifying sheet from the Dollar Tree. And that's what that looks like. I kept it simple, not too fancy. And there's just some of the, my favorite things on there. So that is that. So there's my project share and my VR to paper play with Julie Kay. And also, um, Mona C, which is um, 63 Sonotech US Traveler, which US stands for ultrasound. Um, she's having a challenge, which if you send your entry by postmark date by Wednesday, you should be good to go. And she's asking for a banner and a, um, a banner piece. Gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but... Oh, index card also. So this is the index card I made for that challenge. And, yeah, banner piece. So um, I will leave those links if you guys are interested. If you got any um, index cards in your stash or banner pieces um, or ATC cards, and if you want to join, get it postmarked before then. And um, 
let's have some fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.